It's just about, um, it's just about, uh, 3.30 in the afternoon on Thursday, November 7th. So this is the BTS vlog for November 7th to November 8th. That's, uh, Thursday and Friday. Um, <clears throat> tomorrow is, uh, tomorrow is St. Demetrius. So, uh, while I'll be doing the first segment here, I will be doing the other segments when I'm out. So I won't be here, I'll be using my mobile office. And, uh, I'll upload everything when I get back to my office. Uh, let's see how it's, what, what, what we're working on. Well, basically, I've changed the title, if you notice, I've changed the title to the puzzle part, and this is, uh, puzzle, the puzzle number two. And the reason reason is that is that um, I first introduced you to the pieces of the puzzle. Now we're actually working on the puzzle itself. We're we're starting to build, uh, do, do this on a more regular basis. So uh, I told you the pieces are all over the world. They're all scattered all over the place. This is what I've gathered so far. This next bit that we're going through is what I've gathered so far, and it's going to take us through a couple months uh, into. Uh, basically the New Year 2014 and we'll see where it takes us from there on up anyways what I've been working on these last uh, few days and uh, more recently today and that's sort of working on uh, bringing the various different research institutes I have channels for all of them on YouTube but now I've got to sort of pull everything together and make them more co coherent so that they're working together and you'll start seeing this over the next few weeks uh pulling together all the various different research institute channel the institute channels uh that's where the notes for various different subjects are going to be and to give an example uh i've been working on this whole thing uh i've actually been working on this thing uh for ghost hunting uh i've been looking in at i've been looking at uh the, the uh taps i think it's the the atlanta paranormal society that's what it is and then that's Ghost Hunters on, on, I can't remember what channel it's on. I think it's an outdoor li uh, outdoor uh, living network or something like that. It's on one of these these uh, cable channel networks. And it's a very popular show that features Ghost Hunters. And apparently Ghost Hunting has become very popular. And even on CNET, CNET has their channel on the, on the internet. And I was watching some of the uh, these other Ghost Hunters who are sort of... Uh, muddling around all over the place, sort of using these new grant, these new, these new quote unquote gadgets, and a large chunk of their evidence is not actually evidence. It's not objective evidence in the state in, in the way that you can say, okay, yeah, this is something unusual here. Let's take a look and see what it is. A large chunk of it is like the uh, oh. Like the old uh, records, when if you play the play the record backwards, you swear you could hear, you know, you know, music talking about Satan. You can hear that you can actually hear the backtracking, you know, the uh, the hidden messages in the records. While that was a thing, and particularly with the BBC, one has to sort of, has to sort of uh, uh, be wary of what we're actually talking about and, and how it actually impacts impact another person. Because again, a lot of these things are subjective. It, it depends on whether you believe it or not. If if you believe in something like that, if you believe that it has power over you, even if something does exist, if you believe it has power over you, then the power that it has is simply the power that you give it. And so this is sort of where uh, if if I'm going to be doing this goes on thinking more seriously. This is simply right now we're doing a what they call a preliminary uh, investigation, a sort of a general survey just sort of to give a rough picture of what's going on here. I want to see if it has possible overlaps with quantum mechanics and Tesla. If it does, then it might be something worth looking into. And the thing is, you go into it not believing in ghosts, but, and this is the best way to do it, is you shouldn't have somebody go, going in to investigate your house for ghosts if they believe in ghosts. It should be the person who, who doesn't necessarily believe in ghosts, but as one to sit, sit, look at the, look at the evidence, and say, well, what is here, and ask the question, well, something is going on or is not going on, and be realistic about whether or not they the the anomalies they find or the quote unquote anomalies they find, the apparent anomalies they go find, 
whether or not these apparent anomalies are true anomalies or simply apparent anomalies that there is an explanation for it, but not necessarily seen or when you do find an explanation you either say okay well this is a logical this is a logical explanation this is something that's real let's put it realistic is logical can sometimes be faulty and just because you think something is logical doesn't necessarily mean it's realistic reality and logic are actually two different things so that's what we're going to be careful here with with the words in making sure that our definitions uh, are, are as accurate as possible in other words because you can never get to 100 percent accuracy you can always get to a certain degree of probability of accuracy so you're never going to get 100 percent accuracy you're always going to get an approximation of that accuracy and so this is something that has to be realized here and so this is the question, but now the question is, where do, you, where do I place it? Do I place it in uh, the Byzantine and Antiquity Studies Institute TV uh, channel, or do I use it f under uh, the uh, physics? And the thing is, I think right now, I'm going to put it under the physics channel. Uh, not the physics TV, but there's another, actually a channel for the, for the research itself, not, not the uh, uh, general shows, but the, the channel for the research, the raw research that's, that's going to be producing everything. Uh, I think I'll put it under there. Because I want to see whether or not there is actually a quantum physics in there. I want to see if there's a real physics behind this. If there's a real physics behind this, then that's where it should be. So that's the way I'm going to approach ghost hunting. I'm going to approach ghost hunting from the physics perspective. If there is actually a physics there, then that's where it should be. And then we'll go further on uh, into the quantum mechanics. And from quantum mechanics, we'll try to push into uh, uh, metaphysics and probably into quantum psychology anyways that's it for now i'm gonna leave it here uh and i'll talk to you in a little bit uh, a little bit later uh and let you know what's going on and what's been happening throughout the day all right take it easy <laughs> bts vlog was raw and unedited i really meant it sorry well this is the last segment for the uh bts vlogs Covering November 7th and November 8th, 2013, and it is now just about 12 o'clock. So, uh, where do I go from here? Let me check the date and make sure I got it right. Yeah, I got it right. <laughs> Sometimes I'm always, not always too sure of the date, even though I have it written down. Uh, I, I don't know if I've written it down correctly or made some mistake, and that's the way it, that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, my big, big issue today is that I'm going through a massive crash. It happened last night around, uh, it start. It hit me just around uh, 7.30, it started at 7.30 in the evening and slowly got worse and worse and worse until about 9.30 and then that was it. So I ended up coming back home and uh, just sort of went to bed. But I think, as I said before, when you go to bed uh, uh, and you go to sleep, your work kind of follows you. Because while you're not physically up and doing something, you are uh, still thinking about uh, whatever it is you've been working on during the day and thinking about the particular issues that uh, surround physics, the, the, you know, these uh, general things. I mean, these general uh, issues and sort of items or areas of study, uh, they stay with you. It's, it's it's not something you can simply turn off and, you know, at 9 to 5, you, you work 9 to 5, you, at 5 o'clock in the evening, you turn it off and you go home and that's it. And, and, and you go on with your normal life and then 9 o'clock in the morning you get back into the office again. And it's uh, more significant than that. It's all, it's with you 24-7. Uh, you think about it day, you think about it at night. Uh, you think about it when you're taking a shower. You think about it when you're having a meal. Uh, I study while I have my meals. You know, I'm still studying, still doing my research. So it's with me it, 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 all the time. <sighs> Need the fluids. <laughs> uh, and giving, understanding this and sort of... Uh, uh, thinking of uh, what's coming up for today and uh, what I've already w worked on uh, last night uh, it, 
I have decided to go ahead with the uh, ghost research, the uh, paranormal research. I'm going to do uh, something known as a general survey or an overview. Uh, this is necessarily sort of, sort of this survey, general survey, has initially with it. It's the way uh, the uh, I've always done my research. It's according to the random walk. There is no purpose to this particular uh, uh, experiment or or, or uh, this section of research because if it's going to be objective. And it should be a good objective, but I said because there is reality beyond our own senses. Then this is you want the reality outside yourself to sort of give you the direction you want to go in next. And so what happens is that by doing this, by not setting a purpose for the uh, uh, general survey, you allow the survey itself that will give you the indication as what as to if you find anything, what direction you should go in. And so this is the way it's going to be, and it's also sort of going to uh, begin to cause, uh, and you'll see this more, a spreading out of the uh, of the research work. There is too much work here going on in terms of the research to be, to be under one channel, in terms of having all the raw notes here. So what happens is if you look on the. Uh, the about section of the channel um, what I'm all about you'll see featured channels under the featured channel there's the on there's my friends these are the people I first met when I first, first came onto YouTube as a channel as, a, as doing uh, BBTRL and then after that there are the Institute channels the Institute channels are where the extra notes for all the different sections are going to be and these will sort of come out in the Insta vlogs uh, the ghosts as I said, because ghosts involve physics, and in particular looking at quantum mechanics here, quantum, uh, quantum physics, uh, then they're going to go into the uh, the Insta vlogs kno known as AP Space Vlogs. Uh, AP Space Vlogs are the vlogs that will have to do with everything from astronomy, physics, and uh, of course space. This uh, uh, shuttles, uh, space research, space exploration. All that will go into that, that one section of blogs. I was going to put it under the uh, under under the Bassy uh, under the Bassy vlogs uh, or the Bass vlogs, uh, which is the Byzantine and Antiquity Studies vlogs. But the thing is that, that while you can look in, 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 it goes from a historical point of view, we actually want to approach this from the physics point of view to understand whether or not there is something to uh, the term metaphysics. Now, metaphysics, but many people have been sort of saying, oh, well, yeah, there's metaphysics there. But the the actual evidence for metaphysics has been very minute. In other words, it hasn't been brought forward in a way that it should be brought forward. And when I did my initial work on this to see whether or not there was a connection between uh, metaphysics and quantum mechanics... I began to realize that there was something more beyond regular physics, and that's that, that beyond quantum mechanics is metaphysics. But this is where I came up with the whole point of uh, quantum psychology is sort of the next signpost. Well, this is going to fit into quantum psychology uh, in terms of it's going to look more at the uh, the metaphysical world, what happens to the soul afterwards. Uh, if anything happens to the soul afterwards, it, it, I believe there does. Uh, I believe there's enough evidence for this. But the thing is, we have to let the research dictate this. Uh, and the thing is, this will sort of give us an idea of of what are the ghosts, if they're anything at all. And then, how do we determine uh, what's going to come after that? So, it's really open-ended. There's a lot of questions to answer. And uh, that's how we're going to proceed. So, um, this is the end, the last vlog, the last seg segment for the uh, BTS vlogs for uh, November 7th and 8th. In a few hours, uh, I will come back and do uh, the opening segment, the first segment, for the BTS vlogs for November 8th and 9th. See you then.